Hello viewer, you're watching unsponsored and honest review of GPD Micro PC 2. But I will start with conclusion. So what my take on this device? Uh, it's a great form factor, great keyboard, very silent and a good screen, but the build quality disappointed me and also that doesn't work with Linux well. Let me explain you why. When you first get the Micro PC 2, you notice its unique design. It's actually very compact. It promises to be a tiny tool for a professional, right? But when you hold it, then where a problem starts appearing. The build quality is not very good. They mention this plastic as aviation graded, but it's actually the same plastic as they use in other devices. When I press on the top, on the bottom, the plastic bends. The plastic body is a fingerprint magnet. It gets dirty very fast and doesn't look very appealing. Now take a look at the ports. There are two USB Type-C ports on the back. Can you guess which one is used for charging? Write down in comments right now. This one is used for charging. And this small tiny hole is a charging indicator. It's actually very confusing. They can add the label like they have near micro SD card slot. The design has another issue. When I hold it like with both hands, my hands block the ports on the side, right? When I hold like this and I try to do like thumb typing, uh, my hands block the speakers. That's why sounds become very quiet. Uh, for example, on GPD Mini, they located speakers right here. When you rotate screen in tablet mode, listen to the sound. The screen bumps into the body, let me show you. Because it doesn't have a rubber spacers around the edge like those version had. Now let's talk about other problems, especially with software. This device was made for network engineers, developers, cybersecurity specialists. And many of these jobs use Linux. I installed Linux and I tried a different version, but basically I tried Arch, which has latest drivers, and my experience was not really good. First of all, the fingerprint sensor is not working and there is no way to make it work. Second problem that Wi-Fi disconnects randomly and you cannot do anything with that. The other problem that this is a default screen orientation of this GPD rotating screen devices. Problem is when I use a touchpad, when I move it forward, it moves up. So it doesn't really usable like this. You can fix that and uh, this is the same as the right click. I would put a link under this video how to fix some Linux issues. But if you are not advanced user, don't even try. This forces you to use pre-installed Windows. So what's the Windows experience like? Not so good. I mean, like Windows has a lot of kind of plot where it's uh, asking me all the time if I want to send date, if you want to buy subscriptions here, there. So personally, I don't really like Windows. But the good things about this Windows is it's like pro version. Uh, now let's check a hardware. I have a version with Intel N300 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And this is the maximum that this chipset can have. It's a chipset limitation. It cannot have uh, more than 16 gigabyte one channel DDR5 memory. Also, it's unified memory, so it's not fully 16 gigabytes available for my apps. It's shared with GPU. The other thing with the uh, limitation of chipset is it doesn't have USB 4 ports. So if I connect a fast USB 4 SSD, it will be working at USB 3 speeds. This Intel N300 is better than N250 and this version costs only 50 pounds more, so I don't see a point buying like N250 version at all. 
But how does this mobile processor perform? Let's check it out on 4K videos. So here how it plays 4K videos. You see sometimes it's got frame drops and get some artifacts. So you see it, right? Not really good. Uh, it's video from YouTube. This other video plays all right. I don't see the issues like that have. We have some frame drop. Let's try some videos from my Sony camera. So as you see, the video is very choppy. Yeah, and we have a huge frame drop. So you cannot view 4K video from the camera. Let's try another one. Let's try 60 FPS video. So there is a sound, but as you see, it's just a static, almost slide. It's like one FPS per minute. So this device cannot play 4K videos uh, from your camera and with a higher bitrate than YouTube and sometimes struggle play YouTube as well. One more thing I want to try is try to play in 4K video on 4K display. Okay, in a 4K display we have a really huge frame drop. The picture is viewable, but the stats not really as good as it's on Full HD display. So it's kind of struggle to run 4K videos. At the same time, device is a little bit hot near the touchpad area, uh, but not critically. And it's still silent. I cannot hear the fan of this. I've been recording this video almost whole day and I've been tired. So I don't want to play games on this device because it's not gaming device. Call everything gaming. You know what is gaming? My balls. I can play with my balls. Ha ha ha. Not everything is so bad to be fair. I really love the screen. The screen is very bright here and colors are nice and uh, touch screen works good. Keyboard is amazing for its size. It's very convenient for some typing. The buttons nice and they have like really good feedback and almost full size keyboard. So all this kind of symbols that you use in programming are on their places. Rotating screen is also a fantastic feature with this kind of tablet mode where you can rotate it and uh, it change orientation. So uh, I was buying this device as my alternative to GPD Win Mini, which is uh, a bit heavier and has a big battery and a bit more powerful, but very loud. And I thought that GPD Micro PC will have at least the same build quality but it doesn't. And I wish it would be like a little bit more powerful because it's not really enough for a lot of uh, daily tasks now. And the battery life is not really great. It lasts two, three hours uh, under light load, which is not really much. Micro PC can be a good pocket UMPC. They had a bit better quality and the price like 300 pounds. I think 500 pounds for a toy, which is really low powerful it's too much thank you for watching if you have any other questions write in comments uh, please press like and subscribe if you'll enjoy my video and bye bye